if you haven't guessed it, this is my rocket video. How do you work a problem with a rocket in it? So let's see what we can do and what makes a rocket problem stand out. First, you need to draw a really good picture of a rocket. A matter of fact, I don't think I would feel good about you proceeding without drawing. So I'll give you a second. Pause. Okay, so hopefully you've drawn a really nice rocket, maybe even taken the time to have built a rocket. Now that's an idea. Anyway, what makes a rocket problem difficult? Well, it's usually the, quote, hard one in these types of classes. But anyway, the rocket happens because usually it says the rocket is shot from the ground. And what happens is the rocket actually starts, let's get with a VO. The rocket usually has like a VO. Let's say that the rocket is launched with an initial speed of 10 meters per second. And to begin with, you're like, this is looking just like a normal old problem. But the thing is, a rocket does not obey free fall. A rocket does not obey free fall because, you see, when the rocket is shot up in the air, the rocket is accelerating. It's got this engine, poo, poo, this engine pushing it up into the air. So this rocket usually has an acceleration. And by the way, the VO of the rocket could have been zero. Um, what do you think? I'm trying to decide. Zero? Yeah, sure. We'll just make this rocket zero. We'll say it starts from rest. So we'll say the star rocket starts from rest. We'll say it accelerates at 2 meters per second square. Hey, my law of three still goes on. This problem still has to tell me something else. It's either got to tell me how fast the rocket's going up here. It's got to tell me how high the rocket goes. In other words, I'm still stuck with this whole y t. I'm still stuck with these same five variables, and it's got to tell me three of them or this problem is a bust right off the bat. Well, I'm going to say that this problem tells me time, and it says that the rocket burns for three seconds. Well, here's the thing. Yeah, there's a bunch of other garbage to come later, but all I want to ask you is this. Can you find that velocity in this y, this vertical displacement, based on knowing that a is 2, time is 3, and vo is 0? And again, a is 2 because this is not under free fall. This thing has an engine pushing it up in the air. Yeah, the engine's going to stop when it gets up here. So that means this velocity is not 0. This rocket is not stopping. This rocket's going to keep on going up in the air and eventually stop somewhere up there. So can you find this velocity for me? Well, I have gave you acceleration and time. I think that should help clear this one up. Velocity is equal to VO plus AT. So V is equal to 0 plus 2 times 3. Hey, this is going to be a big shot number. 2 times 3. Velocity is 6 meters per second. So this rocket is not much of a rocket. It starts with a pretty modest 6 meter per second velocity. Could you find how high this rocket goes for me? Yeah, that would be easy enough. The height of this rocket would be y equals second equation. 1 half at squared. VO is 0, so we can scratch that out. So we've got 1 half times 2 times 3 squared. Hey, look at this. Half of 2 is 1. 1 times 3 squared, so this is 9. So I'll assume my rocket is not a very beefy rocket because it's only flew 9 meters. So anyway, this is how you start a rocket problem. And now here's the thing. You know how to finish this problem. Here's what this problem has just turned into. You can pretty much throw the rocket away. You don't need it anymore. The rest of this problem is the same as this. It's the same as a tall building. And what we know is this. Starting right here, the velocity final from this part becomes... Oh, you got it right. I'm so proud of you. The velocity initial of the second part. Very good. And now look at this. We know it's a 9 meter tall building. Not really, but we know this 9 meters. And we also know now acceleration is negative 9.8. Because once this rocket runs out of fuel, it is no different than something thrown off the top of a building. If you can do a building problem, you can do this one. 
So now, what would this rocket question ask you to find? Well, it might ask you to find how high. If this rocket asks you to find how high, you do the same thing I've always told you to do. How high means you go to the third equation. V squared equals VO squared plus 2AY. What's going to be the velocity of the rocket when it gets to the very top of this flight? It's going to go slower, 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 stop. So we know that 0 squared is equal to 6 squared minus 19.6Y, which now we can go 36 divided by 19.6, 1.8 meters. Now, this is not how high the rocket is off the ground. The rocket, this is, oh, I love school bells. This is telling me that up here, my scale then is terrible. This is telling me that up here is 1.8 meters. If the, the question asks me how high is the rocket off the ground, well, the rocket would be those two combined. The rocket would be 10.8 meters off the ground. All right, so what if the rocket question doesn't ask me how high? What's it probably going to ask? The rocket question is probably going to ask you time, the time to go all the way up and then to fall all the way back down to the earth. Well, that's no problem. We have a go-to equation to find time. What is my go-to equation for time? Time, y equals vot plus one-half a t squared. I love that equation for time. What is my y going to be? This is where I'm starting. I'm starting where that rocket ran out of gas, right here. And I'm finishing back at the ground where the rocket started. Well, that means my y is negative 9. I'm going to end up, when this is all said and done, I'm going to end up negative 9 from where I started. Negative 9 equals VO, which was my velocity final for the rocket, is 6, 6T, half of negative 9.8. Now look at what I've got. I've got a quadratic. Sorry I'm not talking like this. My throat's getting a little sore. Anyway, let's plug this in the calculator. A, B, C. I'm going to go with this older calculator again. Mode, 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 one. Because even old calculators need love. One day I'm going to do a video called Old Calculator Appreciation. 4.969. I still have my 1979 model TI. Anyway, first value is negative. I don't want that. Next value is 2.1 seconds after you round. This is where a bunch of you would bite the bullet on test. 2.1 seconds is the time for the rocket to get from here to here, back to the ground. A lot of times this question wants to know, how long was the rocket in the air? Well, the thing is, the rocket was in the air for three seconds already. From here to here, it was three seconds to get to here, then another two seconds which means the rocket was in there for a total of 5.1 seconds. There you go. The two times, the time from this part being added to time from this one. And this is your most basic rocket. And remember, every good rocket starts with a good rocket picture. Don't let me down. I'm counting on you all out there. Everybody have a good evening, and I'll see you later on the Turdford Channel.